so uh, we're placing uh, engagers for uh, clear aligner therapy. You can see the engager template here. It can't, that's the engager template. It's got the engagers in it. So what I do is I've already made this up so it doesn't take so long. I get a bit of composite, which is the same color as the enamel, and I make it into a little sausage, and then I grab an amount like that, and I'll put it into the engager template, okay? But before we do that, we actually lubricate the engager template well. I use a really fine micro brush, and I've got a little bit of um, bit of Vaseline there, and I just lubricate the inside of that. Anyway, then we put we put that on and we pat it down a little bit. Then we go around and we put just a little a little drop of the same color flowable composite. Okay, so I've already made these up. So now I'm just going to keep them over here under protective light. We've already cleaned the teeth. I used a um, a rubber brush and some some pumice. And just a slurry of pumice is what I've used to clean the teeth. We clean them and we've uh, washed them and we've, we've asked um, our lovely patient here to have a rinse. Now we've put the isolation unit in. This is a North Lakes isolation unit. And uh, I'm just gonna do some etching. So let's have the, the brush. Thanks for some etching. Now it's a fine brush as well, okay? So I usually write down here on my table the teeth that I need to etch, okay? And I check the templates where they are. All right, so here we go. What have we got? Uh, one, three. One, two. Two, two. Three, five, I think. Three, four. Three, four. Three, three. Three, two, and four, five. Three, three. Three, two. And four, five. Okay, leave that on for your standard length of time, about 10 seconds. Okay, it's gonna taste a bit sour, eh? a bit like lemon when I wash this off. Mm -hmm. Open up for me a little bit. Gotta be careful with the lips down here, don't let them open up too much. So near the tooth, please. The same as come over here. So get your assistant to come as close to the tooth as possible. Down here. And over here. Back. So I need a... Now go to the back. I need a cotton roll now, please. Okay. So just pop a cotton roll there. Close up a little bit for me, yeah. Try and hold that cotton roll in there for me please, Emily. Okay, you can get me some single bond. Now, I'm using single bond. You just gotta remember with that single bond, it's got some volatile alcohol in it, so uh, you can't bond and drive. Okay, so you've got lip cone heavy brandy. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> We're just kidding, but um, don't dispense the bond in advance. Okay, just apply the bond to the teeth that we've etched. See, it's, we've got some nice frosting there for where we've etched, which is uh, what you obviously, we dentists, we all know that's what we're looking for. Let's make sure we've got a good etch of the enamel. You need to keep your finger there, don't move your finger, okay? Emily is new to dental assisting, so she's still learning that isolation is very important. Okay, let go now. So now we're going to, I've got a orthodontic curing light here, so it only takes about a second to cure these little, little spots. Okay, that'll do. Right, give me the top, uh, the bottom template I'll go with, thank you. So I'll just grab the bottom template, open up a little bit. I actually tried the template in earlier on to make sure that it's fitted properly. Okay, so when I'm fitting this down now, I get some pressure 
onto give us a go. Some pressure onto the facial aspect of the template to make sure that we get a good adaptation. Stop the stop that for a moment. Wait a second. Fingers too big, so here we go. I just spot cure them for a moment. Right, let's have the top template. So we need three minutes basically. Oh, sorry, three seconds of cure time with this technology. Okay, let's go, let's cure that. So gotta make sure your assistant cures right on the facial there. Right, stop it for a moment. It's a little bit uncomfortable for Brandy. Okay, so we'll just do three seconds for all of them. Yeah, that's on three, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got my light set on three and it's just gonna keep going on and off for three seconds. It's great having a uh, high intensity curing light use it very quickly but you've got to be careful not to damage the tooth because it generates a bit of heat so don't hold it on for too long okay so that's done there's the uh, engages placed on the teeth so let's get rid of this uncomfortable thing and the next thing we've got to do is just snap the engager template off if you haven't got fingernails use a hook Let, give me a hook thanks oops just a bit hard sometimes to get the engager template off, Brandy. Mm -hmm. There we are. Before the hook arrived, I've got it off. And that one's off as well. Okay, all of the engages are in place. Have a close look. There, here, no voids in the engages. They all look pretty good. Okay, so let's have the number three. Tim, let's have the number three. So we're just going now, we're just grabbing the next. Um, so I'm using clear correct. And uh, that's the, uh, that's the number three, which is going in next. So we're just gonna grab that and snap that into place. Now, you gotta remember with these things, sometimes they don't quite sit down at the back straight away, these, uh, aligners but usually within a couple of days they'll sit down properly okay so that's fitting nicely and that's basically it for placing engages thank you